keep it low down, no doubt. Hit that like, subscribe, and comment below. What's good, fam bam? Welcome back to another episode of Loked Out TV. You already know how we do it. We're going to keep it loked out, no doubt, for real. Coming at you with another loked out banger. And this one right here, we're going to be talking about a little situation coming out of Murray County, Georgia. Unfortunately. But before we jump all the way up into the video, first of all, I want to send my condolences to the families and the loved ones dealing with this situation. You know what I'm saying? Much love and respect to them. Prayers going out to them. Also, if you haven't hit that subscribe, that like, or that notification bell, it'd be highly appreciated if you did so. And if you really want to level up in the game, hit the comment section and talk your shh. Because that's exactly what the comment section is there for. Now, that being said, man, um, we got a clip coming your way. Murray County, Georgia. A youngster just graduated. I believe he was like 19 years old, 18, 19, something like that. Just graduated high school, just got his first job, just got his very first paycheck, right? Went to a house party and lost his life over some craziness, over, over something he wasn't involved in at all. This is the perfect example of a bullet has no name. You know, this is the perfect example of idiots shouldn't have guns you know when they talk about you know i mean it, it, it's it's the perfect example of all that you know an unfortunate example of all that so the way the story goes is this young kid just graduated with his first check from work off his first job whole future ahead of him whole future ahead of him Goes to a house party. A fight breaks out during the house party. Which y'all will see in the clip coming up. A fight breaks out in the house party. And. During the fight. Some things come out. And bullets start flying. Now there was other, other individuals hit. I believe uh, one individual got hit in the face. And I think there might have been. You know, a couple others that got hit in the crossfire of all this craziness. But check it out. None of the people that was firing got hit. Isn't that how it usually works in these situations? None of the people that was firing got hit. Only the people that was around them got hit. So, you know, I, idiots with guns. You know, idiots with guns. Family of a young man killed in Murray County says he was in the wrong place at the wrong time. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Kim Chapman Whitfield. And I'm Joshua. We've updated you on this story all week long. The Georgia Bureau of Investigation confirms Tyler Ray died in the shooting. Investigators say Tyler was at a party when someone shot him. GBI says first responders took him to the hospital where he later died. The GBI says it happened at a home in Resaca. Since the shooting, authorities say they have taken Anthony Wilkinson into custody and he faces a felony murder charge. Ray's family says a fight broke out at a party and that led to Ray being shot. They tell us his last words were, I think I've been shot. New Channel 9's Mary Beth Mangrum spoke with the family to learn more about Ray. I didn't even know he was shot at first. All he said was, I think I'm shot, and that's the last thing he said. After graduating from Adairsville High School, 18-year-old Jeffrey Tyler Ray's life had just begun. He just graduated high school, and he got his first job, and he just yeah. got his first paycheck. He was doing better than me or my brother. But all it took was one night to change that. If they would have known, they wouldn't have been there either. They just come to the wrong place at the wrong time. Tyler Ray's family says he was at a party here on Sexton Road when a fight that he wasn't involved in broke out. Just seconds later would be the moment that he was shot. He jumped up and ran and he couldn't run no further because he couldn't breathe. So they set him down and because he had been shot right here in the side and I guess it punctured his lungs. On Tuesday, the GBI and the Murray County Sheriff's Office announced the arrest of 25-year-old Anthony Wilkinson in connection to Tyler's murder. Let's seek justice and healing rather than revenge and violence. My brother's life mattered. The GBI says another victim was shot in the face and treated at the hospital. 
We ask the family if any parents were present at the party, but they say they didn't know and hope that it will soon be revealed. For now, his mother is still left without one last look at her son. We haven't gotten his body back yet. I haven't even gotten to see him yet. And his friends. We have a little circle, I would call it. And Tyler's the little, Tyler's like the son of the circle. Yeah, we took care of Tyler a lot. Left feeling as if they've lost the heart of their group. And now that he's gone, it's going to be completely different. Now everything that we do is going to be for Tyler. In Adairsville, Mary Beth Mangrum, News Channel 9. And the GBI says they took Ray's body to their medical examiner's office for an autopsy. They say Wilkinson also faces an aggravated assault charge. Lockdown TV thought you knew. Keep it G and keep it fly. Lockdown merch you.